my channel so today's video i'm going to be giving y'all the free game on how to start a youtube channel i'm gonna just preface this by saying everybody has a different process on how they start it so i'm just gonna give y'all the most logical way let's get started for one before you start looking at ring lights, tripods, and all that stuff, choose your niche. So a niche is something that you're good at or something that you can bring to the world. My example, my niche is lifestyle, DIY, and hair. You don't have to have one specific niche, but sometimes you want to make sure that your niches kind of overlap in some areas. Like for lifestyle and DIY, some of the DIY things have to do with lifestyle. Stuff that has to do with like life DIY and lifestyle overlap and sometimes hair overlaps with that as well but a niche is something that you like and something that you're good at so I like lifestyle content and I'm good at hair so that is what my niche consists of so a list of niches cooking DIY hair makeup video games commentary anything that you can bring to the table anything that you are good at without forcing it then that is your niche do not choose a niche because your favorite influencer does it just because your favorite influencer does hair does not mean that you have to do hair if your favorite influencer does makeup that does not mean you have to do makeup choose something that you genuinely like to do because you're going to enjoy putting out those videos. If you don't like your niche, you're not going to enjoy doing YouTube. Number two, come up with a catchy name. Well, I just chose Get Pretty With Puff because it's stuck with people. You can choose anything. You can stick TV at the end of your name. Do something that's A, gonna go with your niche or B, is going to stick with people in your heads. Because some of these people's YouTube names don't really go with their niche. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You have your niche and you have your name. Now it's time to write down your video ideas. So I've watched videos where people say you want to have at least 25 to 50 to even 100 video ideas written down on standby. So I'm not going to recommend that if you are just starting out. I would say have 25 because you're still trying to grow into your niche. You're still trying to figure out what works for you. I just want to say just make sure you have a list maybe like a page like one page front and back of just random video ideas you want to do some of those can be in your niche and some of them don't have to be but those first stages you can really just try out anything that'll work for you number four create an upload schedule do you want to upload every day do you want to upload three times a week do you want to upload once a week do you want to upload once a month Choose an upload schedule that's going to work for you when it comes to being a content creator you can really just choose whenever you want to upload just make sure you upload at least twice a month at least once a week if you can you have built up an audience you don't want your audience to forget about you five create your youtube account so i'm i'm thinking that y'all already have a youtube account you can just kind of translate it to a youtube channel with your youtube account that's how you access your youtube studio and your creator studio and all your analytics for your channel six create your channel banner so to create my channel banner i used this website called pickmonkey.com a lot of people use it for their thumbnails as well but i like to use my just for my channel banner so i finessed a free trial from pickmonkey because you have to pay for it so if you use pickmonkey just make sure you cancel your free trial as soon as you finish making your thumbnail but i feel like pickmonkey is really user friendly and they they also have like built-in like directions for you to use so i really recommend pick monkey for your channel art making i don't want your channel banner to go with your niche i wouldn't say make it like super simple with just your name if you want to have pictures on there don't flood the whole thing with pictures put one or two and then put maybe your upload schedule and what kind of videos you do because that's the first thing people see when they go to your youtube channel they'll type in your name and then they type in they click your little profile picture and then the first thing that pops up is your channel banner so 
just make sure you have a nice presentable channel banner make sure it looks good make sure it's readable and make sure there isn't a whole lot of stuff going on seven which y'all all have been waiting for get your equipment so before I even explain any of this YouTube equipment stuff, I'm going to just let y'all know that you do not need a camera to start a YouTube channel. You do not need a camera to start a YouTube channel. You do not need a camera to start a YouTube channel. Let me say that again. You do not need a camera to start a YouTube channel. The common misconception that people have is YouTubers have these elaborate $1,000 cameras. I'm recording right now from an iPad. I've had people ask me, oh my God, what camera do you use? No, I literally have an iPad, like third or fourth generation. It costs me $300. If you have good lighting and you have a device that records well, then you don't need a camera. You can literally use your phone. If you have an iPhone 8, and higher then you're good all you need is a tripod or something to set your phone up on and you can record your videos and as for lighting i do suggest that you get a ring light or if you have a big open window where you can sit in front of and film then that's good as well but i just like using a ring light i've been using a ring light for about a year now and i really enjoy it because it just it lights up everything and it makes my videos look more professional so if you don't have a window that you can sit in front of then i do suggest you get a ring light but don't get the 30 dollar 8 inch ring light don't get the 40 50 dollar 10 inch ring light if you're gonna get a ring light um spend your money spend some good money on a ring light don't skimp yourself because those ring lights do break easily i do suggest that you get whether you get a ring light or you decide to use natural light make sure you get a tripod way easier to just unscrew your tripod set it up on the floor and then start filming versus trying to find something to set your phone up on the last and final step start filming your videos sit down set up your ring light set up your tripod get in front of your favorite naturally lit window sit down in a chair sit down on the floor wherever you want to sit and start filming your first youtube video if you're not used to talking in front of people or if you're not used to talking in front of a camera then you probably will be a little nervous but it gets more fun when you're able to just be comfortable and sit down in front of a camera and just talk in front of it so don't be nervous because it's it's really literally just you and your camera iphone ipad device whatever it is don't try to get it in the first take because that's what editing is for if you mess up or if you stumble on a word you can easily edit it out and in your videos make sure you have a nice simple background with not a lot going on because that can distract a lot of people that's pretty much it so i'm gonna give y'all words of encouragement it is not too late to start a youtube channel either just because it's 2021 and everybody and their mama got a youtube channel that does not mean that you cannot start one everybody has something to offer and you know everybody has a different way of doing things yes if you have been thinking about starting a youtube channel and this video popped up and you're recommended or you found it on your own this is your sign to start a youtube channel you come to the end of this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel all my social media will be down in the description box as well as videos that i have uploaded in the past so with that being said i'll see y'all in my next video